Hey guys, it's Chris and today we are going to be taking apart the DC TV. Not the CD TV, the DC TV. What is it? I don't know. Welcome to my messy desktop and all the crap that I'm working on and whatever. So I need to take this apart and fix it for Mr. Hold and Modify himself. This is his personal unit underneath these old cork feet. Wow. Dirty cork feet are the screws to take apart the unit. Now I plug this in to my Amiga 1200 RGB and parallel port and it did absolutely smurfly nothing. I downloaded the software for the DC TV and installed it just to make sure it would sort of work and because I have the Dell I got the old composite cable out here so I could see its little display out thing and I just kept moving it video out video in just to see what I could see and nothing so what we're going to do is take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside on the inside we have some basic shielding made out of cereal box or something this is the shielding that is just freaking hilarious inside we got a bunch of capacitors which are most likely dried out they're showies that is just crazy. The shielding is literally grounded with aluminum tape to the box. If you hear any arguing upstairs, that is Mona and my kid. So what I'm going to do is remove the screws and remove the whole unit. But before we do that, we're going to take some photos just so you know what you're dealing with. We all have, we all have phones in our pocket. Grab yourself some photos of the unit just in its various states and take several so you know kind of how it went together. Photos are free. It'll help you in the long run. 91, 92 by Progressive Image Technologies. Unwrap the board from its little cereal box. Look at that. That's its shielding. That's RF shielding. We don't need that anymore, Captain Kirk. So I'm gonna put all the screws in it so I won't lose them because I always end up with extra parts. Uh, we have some simple uh, grounding wires, a proprietary uh, chip with a progressive image technologies. It's like a little eye. A mystery plug. Maybe that's for something else. I don't know. Is there a slot that this goes in? Nope. It's got a 15 megahertz crystal in it, or is that a 5.7? Don't really know. We have some potentiometers. We have one potentiometer. All right, let's recap this puppy. Let me bust out the solder station. This thing ain't been touched since uh, the signing of the Constitution. There's a dog bone right there. Isn't that kind of neat? Sometimes developers hide little, little secrets in their boards. Now if you want to see what this does, let me get the 1200 fired up with the DC TV software and I'll show you kind of how I split screen the Dell here and then show you what it does or what it's supposed to think it's supposed to look like. Okay, so here we are with the Amiga 1200. This is all taken apart. One side goes into the printer port, one side goes into the RGB. It's that simple. It just basically is mimicking the lid here. Uh, video out which I'm in my split screen, I'll show you in a second. Pixel adjust, tin adjust, RGB port, parallel port, and video in. So I'm outputting this out to the composite side. The Dell U2410 has a split screen. This is the DC TV. This is a Magic Workbench backdrop. That's the only thing I could find. So if I say load, um, I'm in the Magic Workbench patterns directory, we'll do Marble Classic, or Magic Workbench AGA, right? Proceed, whatever. It'll do its thing. It's going to look funky here. It's what it's supposed to do. It shoots the magic down to the DC TV here, and then it comes out over here. So it looks all funky, and then it comes out over here. But this is where it's screwed up. I can't get the DC TV to show, and that's what I'm working on. So that's where we're at. It has a weird grounding system of a piece of aluminum tape, right? Sorry for my constant movement. I'm fat and I need to adjust myself. So I'm doing my best to kind of tuck it in and I'm sorry for any reflections. So this is 30 year old cardboard, right? 
It has a piece that goes over top the back end, which I don't know why. It had a piece of hot glue and was like a warranty sticker. This grounds out by going like this, and this tape goes across it. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. It's still sticky-ish. Not really. So I need to replace it. I'm gonna use metal tape. I have some foil tape. Let me get it. It's metal, but it works really good. And normal people would have scissors, but oops, I'm not normal. Alright, so we're gonna replace this bleh, with an actual piece of sticky metal tape that would ground the ground lines to the paper metal part. Think of it as a hot pocket container. You slip your hot pocket in there before you put it in the microwave and that, uh, yeah, that's what does it. You can't see any of that, so we're going to boot the 1200. Turn this light out because it's a little bit too bright. So, DC TV. I'm going to flip my monitor into picture in picture because uh, there's no other way for me to display the DC TV output. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna go into my work and we're gonna go into the DC TV software which I pre-installed last time. I didn't think it was working. Come on, auto adjust in progress, let's go. Okay, stupid monitor. All right, I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna choose paint and this will come on. And this is going to look funky and this is going to look nice. Now the reason this is small is because I have it small. My apologies. I don't have an RGB slash capture card that does this. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'll make this big. So I copied some stuff to DH1 DCTV data. Just some IFFs. We're going to do... Amiga 500 render. This is going to look funky on this side. And the A500 is going to be, this is a 16 color picture, right? Awesome. Now, my video out is not color. You can see I have a weird colored image here and a nicely colored one here. On a higher resolution screen, this would be way better looking. I don't know what, I have no idea what I'm doing. There's a Motorola CPUs coming in. Anyway, long story short, I am horrible at this and graphics programs and whatever the hell has to do with stuff. DCTV's working. Mr. Kevin can show you what this actually can do. I am trash with this stuff. So this has been the DCTV repair for Mr. Kevin Holden Modify. Check out his channel Holden Modify on YouTube. By the time this comes out, we will uh, he will have this back and probably have a video on it. So that's all I got for now. Thank you guys for watching. And this has been brief, so I don't know if you learned something, but I hope you learned something.